know already that this is a 6040 machine being 400 millimeters of operation in the X and 600 in the Y. Well, should I say this machine has been, been designed to 98% of the so-called 6040 machines bought from eBay or anywhere else for that matter. Um, you'll get them, you'll purchase them and get them home and you'll find that the operation, all right, the cup, cutting bed then or the, the, the cutting envelope of the machines is far from that. Uh, there will be about uh, 350 by about 500 or 550. They are not true 6040s. This one is. <coughs> so now what I'm going to show you is the setup uh, for the soft limits or in other words telling Mark III the operational template of this machine. So Mark III won't allow the cutter to go outside of these limits. Okay, the next job we're going to do now, uh, now we've honed uh, Mark III, or the machine with Mark III. We've got to go into config, uh, go to homing in limits. Okay, so here we have um, and this is set up for this particular machine. So you have the X uh, soft maximum is 400. The Y soft maximum is 600. And the Z soft maximum is minus 85. So it registers zero at the top of the stroke, not the bottom. Actually, just before we go to there, uh, you, if you notice that the soft limit here is green, that means the soft limit is turned on. So you must make sure that that is turned on at all times. Now then, I am going to, I'll jog the um, machine, I'll jog the head over. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I think you can see me there. I'll just check with the camera that you can see. Yep, you can see my finger. Now I'm going to hold my finger down. I'm going to put it on fast jog, hold my finger down, and Mark III is going to shut this down about two or three millimeters before it comes into the contact with this, or the hard limit. And this is what soft limits do. It electronically shuts it down because Mark III, the program, knows the limitations now of this machine. With your machine, you will receive a, a thumb drive or a flash drive. Uh, on that flash drive is all the drivers for Mark III, for pendant, um, for the card inside, um, you know, the, the USB card, all the drivers necessary for Mac 3 to operate. Okay, um, the drivers that I was just speaking about uh, to go into Mac 3, one of them is a script. Now, when I say a script, it's uh, a description in G code um, of or it's in certain instructions for Mac 3 what to tell it what to do with the Z height tool setter. Okay, now to get at the script editor for the tool setter, you go into operator, edit button, script, and you'll find that the auto tool zero will flash. Now you click on that and this is the script editor. 
and paste it into here. Okay, that's all you do to set the uh, tool setter up and press X and then this will come up. Do you want to save changes? And you press yes. Okay, so that is the instructions taken care of into Mac 3. There's still a little job that you have to do. And what you have to do is get your tester, get a cheap vernier, it's probably better to do it with the vernier, and measure it. In this case it is 19.2 millimeters. Now I'll show you where to put that figure into Mark 3. Okay, so what you need to do, because this is an offset, okay, so you have to tell Mark 3 that the actual size of that, it's uh, actually, it was closer to 19.2. Um, and see this? Gauge block height. Because to Mark 3, that is a gauge block. So you go into here, and you go 19. Point zero, and you must press enter and it goes there and you can ba come back into the run screen now. Now I always press reset and reset off again. That seems to rejig Mark 3. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do the tool test and see if it actually works. I'm sure it will. Um, so we'll jog over. Make sure that's underneath there. And now what you press is here. Auto tool set. So you just get the cursor, press that. Actually it's going to take all day. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to come down a little bit manually. Otherwise it's going to take 10 minutes to come down. So here we go. I'm pressing auto tool set. Now. And it retracts 10 millimeter up off that. And you'll see the figure here. I'll zoom in on the fi on the figure now. So you will note now that uh, Mark III has um, retracted up off the material 29 millimeters. So it Mark III knows that that tool is exactly 29 millimeters off the zero of the material. Okay, there's one last thing to check now, and that is the spindle. And I'll show you how to do that without having to write a program or anything for it. You can do it straight in Mark 3. Okay, it's very easily done. You come to the MDI, which is the Manual Data Input screen, and in here, you highlight here, and you put in, like I've already got there, but S. 10,000, press enter, and so we've given Mark 3 a command. So now we come out of, uh, out of that screen into the program run screen. So we come over here, press on the spindle start, and up, up it'll go to 10,000. It's as easy as that. And to stop it, you press it same again. And we've actually had a, a resistor put in the system, so it slows the spindle down quite quickly. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video today. 
and I hope it's been useful to you. And um, I hope you pop in and see one of my other videos um, on CNC routing, um, wood turning, laser work. I do quite a bit with lasers now, and shop jobs that I do around here. So thank you very much for joining me, and uh, it's bye for now.